about time y'all got introduced to my new work ride. Not exactly a performance vehicle. Yeah, I'm at the car wash right now. I got a little bit of trash and stuff to throw away and then I'll show you the rest of it. Alright, here it is, 2017, oh this thing needs to focus, let's try this again, here it is, 2017 Chevy Cruze hatchback, yep. it had 40,000 miles on it when I got it, And I'm not paying a dime for it. All I do is get in and drive the silly thing. It is the, I believe, 1.8 turbo. Yeah, it's just a little crap box car. But it goes pretty good. It handles its curve pretty good, too. A little sucker will hang right in there. But nothing special. Most of these come with a, a cage in the back where you can't have any passengers back there. This isn't one of those. Uh, they had already taken the cage out by the time I got it. And uh, they usually have a safe box in there too. And that's been taken out also. But. Not a bad little car for what it is. I mean, of course you can't hear it running even though it is right now. I'll show you under the hood too while I'm at it. Well, before I do that, back up just a hair. All right. Yeah, as you see, I got my Milwaukee pack out in there. That's uh, normally a $279 rolling tool kit. I got a little, a little bit more of a discount than that. How in the crap do you open this stupid hood? Okay, I learned something. I hadn't opened the hood on this car yet. But uh, here's the little EcoTech motor. And there's the turbo that I work out regularly. Just a tiny little turbo. Not even the size of, about the size of a Coke can. Does a good little job about pushing this thing down the road though. See, little things like that, just a waste of time and money. And that doesn't say what I need it to say. Oh yeah, 1.4 liter. And a thing I hate and I'd love to learn how to disable is that mess where you pull up to a stoplight and it shuts off. Because that drives me batty. But for what it is, it's a nice running little car. Harder than crap for me to get my big tail in and out of, though. I have to put my butt in first and then duck, practically fold my head off uh, in half there. I don't know how you describe it. Anyhow, my shoulders come to right here when I sit down in the seat. So I've got to swoop my head in and it's a pain in the butt. But yeah, that's it. 
and of course right now it's got 45,117 miles on it basically I put 5,000 miles on it since I got it um, no I haven't put a I put 1500 about 1200 miles on it since I've got it and I've had it for what two months well end of October was when I actually started driving this I had it for like a week or two before that <clears throat> but I was still driving that uh, 2019 Dodge truck because that thing was just nice had a banging stereo in it and everything else anyway <clears throat> fold my fat tail in half put you on the, the dash speaker there get myself settled I don't think it's gonna sit there but there we go anyway <clears throat> this is a nice little car and I've about run her up to 45171 45841 okay 45841 is where I'm supposed to get the oil changed at uh, I'm not treating this any different than I do my cars when the oil gets changed in this it gets mobile one only I'm not putting anything but that in here I'm not had any not seen anything on the the car company's website saying that they have any aversion to that or that they would not pay it if you if you bought the uh, the more expensive oil that's all I run in any vehicle I drive so this one's not gonna be any different <clears throat> um, now granted, I do swing corners in this one quite a bit more than I do in any of my vehicles, but it, it can handle them. It can really handle them. Um, going to Clarksville from here, which is... Oh, I'll have to call her back. Uh, but going to Clarksville from here, which is quite a ways away, um, I take all back roads, and they're very, very steep up and downhill grades, and very sharp corners and curves. I don't have to slow this thing down a bit. If the curve says 35 miles an hour, you can bet I'm going around at about 45 or 50 because it just hangs in there and I mean these aren't even special tires or anything these are just the old stock may pop um, but I mean it, they've got plenty of tread on them so I shouldn't have to have those replaced anytime soon the good thing is when I do have to have them replaced it ain't costing me any money but I'm not wearing them out either. I'm not sitting here trying to spin the tires over or power slide it with the emergency brake or anything like that. It'd be kind of hard to do the emergency brakes on the floor over here. It doesn't have the little handle like most of them do on this side. But yeah, I'm gonna treat it like it was one of my actual personal vehicles. And I'm responsible for it up to a certain amount of miles and then they'll take it back and swap it out. I don't know what that certain amount is, but I won't get a newer vehicle and probably while I'm doing this job. It's, it's not going to happen. I was supposed to be getting a new one, but that kind of went out the window. That, that turned out to be a big rumor. But anyway I mean I, I'm comfortable once I get in here for short trips 
this is not a long trip car because these seats are the most uncomfortable thing after say an hour they're about as uncomfortable as they can be my Cadillac and either one of the Cadillacs or the Dodge I can get in that and drive forever and I'll get a little stiff after a while just from sitting still but that's the worst I get in this car my back will go to aching and my butt gets to hurting because the seat's just not not designed for a long trip this is like one of the most minimal cars that you can get but uh like I said that little turbo does seem to help because this thing just scoots right along when when I need it to go it will like a while ago I got it up to almost 100 miles an hour trying to go around a drunk coming up I-65 and he's weaving all over the doggone road and uh, rush hour traffic no less I guess he hit happy hour or something but he was all over the road so I just I couldn't get my camera out so I could show you because at the time my bag was in the bag I pulled the bag out about the time I got to the car wash um, and then I remembered I hadn't done a video on this car yet uh, it does have hell, hell dings all on the roof but evidently the uh, car company doesn't care anything about the hell damage uh, it's got a few hell spots on the hood and we haven't had hail here so it had to have come from before I had the car. <clears throat> um, it looks fairly new all over. Got a, a air splitter on the front, which I thought was hilarious because you don't think of a little crab box car like this actually going fast enough for a, a, an air splitter on the front air dam to be of any real consequence one way or the other but evidently there's something to it and it's there it looks a little aggressive in the front end but how aggressive can a little crap box like this be i mean it's got a rounded pointed nose looks like a doggone some kind of doggone fish going down the road little little squinted sides and the pointy nose and the uh, I, I'm, I'm just not a fan of this car at all but like I said I'll give it one thing thanks to that little turbo and see it shut off And then I let off the brake and it starts up again. Now, you guys are not on a tripod of any kind or a mount of any kind. So pictures are doing one of these numbers right now because the LCD on the camera is bouncing. But the fact that I just turned the road, <clears throat> turned the corner onto this road like I did and you guys didn't slide anywhere sitting on a, a flat uh, plastic dash with no mat or anything on it I ought to tell you how I drive this thing um, uh, it's, it's not a race car I'm not out to win any awards with it um, I'm not out to show off in it it's all the reason I'm even doing the videos so some of my friends will know what to look for when they see me out or when they expect to see me out <coughs> but yeah it's it doesn't have a whole lot of features it's got a USB connection for the stereo um, and of course I've got my uh, Samsung quick charge cigarette lighter adapter charger in here I got my little cooler for uh, 
during the hot time of the year, going in and out of these stores, I fill it up with Gatorades and ice, and <clears throat> that helps me make it through the night each night. Got my fan in the back and all my tools, which they're a mess right now too, and until I get them organized, I'll not show a, even a, the seat in these cars. It is clean, it's just cluttered. And I don't like people seeing everything all cluttered up. So once I straighten everything back out and get some of the garbage out of here that doesn't need to be in here anymore, then uh, I'll do a video about the inside maybe. I doubt it because this isn't anything anybody's really gonna care about. I really don't, so I don't expect anybody else to. But, <clears throat> That's it. Uh, of course, they're starting me on uh, ATM training now. So I'll be fixing ATMs shortly. Our mailman is just now running. Holy crap. Of course, he's in a nice SUV, which means that uh, either it's a route sub or their car, their normal delivery vehicle broke down on them. <clears throat> they use the, uh, the Subaru Legacy normally, Subaru, Subaru Legacy wagon. And uh, I'm, I'm, he's in a, I think a, an Explorer right now. What in the crap have we got blinking down the road? Something down the road with the blinking lights going. Looks like it's a, I don't know, a tow truck or something? Yeah, came home yesterday to a tow truck. <clears throat> Some guy that is married to one of the ladies my wife communicates with on uh, Facebook. Oh, okay. Couple more Christmas presents. I got delivered. Yeah, hear how quiet it is? Now listen when I let my foot off the brake. But, uh, yeah, this is where the car gets dirty again. Y'all got to see it all cleaned up. And of course, I still have to drive it through mud puddles because I haven't gotten enough money up to buy enough rock to just level the whole thing off with, uh, ugh, level the whole thing off with gravel yet. And all the gravel that was here, or most of it that was here, is all ground down into the dirt because of the idiot over there having his pond drain off over here still but just to keep everything kind of okay um, I'm not speeding through here and splattering mud everywhere and I think her truck hers the tie rod end on the passenger side let go so and it's all muddy so I've got to redo it I think I'm getting ready to do it right now and she's been driving my blue truck the blue Escalade uh, SUV Oh yeah, there's something else. Got the backup cam in here. I don't, I don't like the lines on it because the lines are wrong. Whoever lined the lines up on that thing is just ridiculously stupid. But <clears throat> there's the blue one. It's parked on a hill and kind of in a mud hole too. It's not, it doesn't have a flat tire. And it's not broken down. It's just sitting at an angle because uh, I think she killed the battery in it. 
so and there's the Tahoe all the paints almost off of the hood and then I'm gonna work on getting the rest blown off of the roof this one's still here but it's full of stuff and the white Escalades over on the other side of this blue one you can see the tail light right there and she's driving the diesel right now down into downtown Nashville <laughs> so needless to say uh, I got a lot of lot of stuff to do and I got two days to do it in tomorrow I have to there's a plastic piece I need to replace on the blue Escalade as well as the battery um, I don't know if it's the battery or the alternator and with her parking it right there in the stinking mud like an idiot um, there's no way I can get into it unless I buy me a pair of waiter boots uh, the dumbest thing she could have done but <clears throat> anyway gotta buy uh, one little plastic shield for that and maybe either a battery or an alternator I'm not sure which that's got the op uh, yellow top optima in it but little known fact that yellow top optima that's in that truck is the one that was on my trailer now it's been sitting here all day with the um, solar panel charger on it and it hasn't been a cloudy day so it may have charged it back up some let me see Well, I guess I can't see that one. That key is gone again. Beautiful. Anyway. She probably lost hers and took mine. I hate it when that happens. Because I don't have another key for that truck. She's got the only key and key fob that works on it now. If she loses it, she loses it. Anyway, uh, that's all I got for right now. Um, anything new comes up or happens, I'll, or if I find anything interesting. I did find something interesting today, and I didn't record it. Uh, I wanted to go back and record it, but I had another job I had to do before I could come home. But eventually I'm going to work my way back over that in that direction. And I'm thinking about taking y'all on a tour of the Bell Witch Cave. Um, we've been there before, but it was several years ago. I'm not sure if they even, uh, not 100% sure they still do the tours, but they did. <clears throat> um... Uh, you used to be able to go, you pull up in the front, and they come out and greet you, and then they walk you down around behind the cap, the back part of the house into the actual cave that's underneath the house and tell you the story of uh, the witch and how she came to be and how she tortured everybody and this, that, and the other. But <clears throat> it's kind of interesting, kind of neat, but... Um, I just haven't, like I said, haven't had the opportunity to stop back by there yet. But that's pretty much all I've got for today. Um, I will holler at you again soon. Don't know how soon, but it'll be soon. Um, and uh, get some more videos coming out here pretty quick. Because uh, I haven't put any up in a while and I got a feeling I'm getting ready to lose my monetization. Because y'all ain't watching as much as I'd like you to watch. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. You have a great afternoon and I'll talk to you soon. In the next one.